London and being here. Um, I have decided to migrate from, from Istanbul, where it is snowing at the moment, and to come to tropical London. Uh, <laughs> um, you have a beautiful spring. It's so nice to see many of you, friends and new acquaintances. I wanted to say thank you to Janice Jeffries and uh, a couple of words uh, of uh, introduction. Um, this is Helene and Yannis. Um, they have uh, um, um, a non-profit organization in Cyprus and they are uh, organizing an event titled Through the Roadblocks in Cyprus that is looking at the Cyprus issue and uh, basically issues related to memory, conflict and trauma. Um, I have been interested in that for a series of reasons. Uh, um, you know, personally I have uh, a particular heritage. Uh, World War II is, uh, although I wasn't born there, I'm not that old, even as a student, I'm a dinosaur. Um, my family, for example, my mom, she was wounded when she was three years old during the bombings in Italy. And, uh, and that's something that has stayed you know, it remains with you, it remains with your family. And I have always been interested in the concept of the invisible monument. How do we memorialize um, trauma? How do we represent it? How it affects us? And if it can be inherited. So there are several things, several projects that are going on. And our idea today, it was to put together a group of people that in one way or the other are dealing either from a curatorial point of view, from an organizational point of view, from an artistic point of view with David Cotterell and Helen Sloan uh, with these issues. Uh, and so you will have a uh, series uh, of speeches, uh, discussions, uh, conversations uh, and uh, and then at some point we will open to you and we will have all different kinds of questions. Um, of course, you know, Istanbul is a very complex city. It's a city where I guess the layers, uh, the layers of trauma, violence, war, civil conflict, religious conflict, uh, uh, racial, um, are uh, most embedded. And in a way, they're kind of hidden within the city. You have, have, you have to have a certain kind of knowledge in order to discover it, and to discover the history that characterizes the landscape. Um, and uh, my interest has been piqued um, since I have moved to, to Istanbul uh, in seeing if there is a way to represent this sort of conflicts. And also there is the idea that they can be inherited. Um, there are some studies, particularly in the field of uh, biology, human biology, whereby <laughs> the neurons of our brains are changed by trauma. They actually change shape physically, um, altering their structure and therefore altering our way of interacting. And some of the issues could be if they even can be culturally inherited. If trauma, beside having a cultural inheritance, they also have, it also has a physiological, a biological inheritance. Uh, these are some of the issues that I wanted just to discuss, to bring forward and to think about and also to imagine new ways in which we could collaborate, we could generate new projects and new activities. I'm aware that this is a period of uh, crisis but I'm one of those uh, hard-working Italians, I guess one of the few in this uh, difficult period in Italy. Um, and uh, I always thought that, you know, people can work together by collaborating, sharing resources, sharing energy. It is actually possible to overcome the difficult moments. So I'll uh, leave uh, the platform to you two guys. And uh, thank you so much for being here.